Hi guys, welcome to Tadadar's Kitchen. I'm your friend Mansi. Now as pickles are in season, I'm going to show you a very simple pickle recipe using the main ingredient that is keri, which is also known as raw mango, and the name is methia keri. Pickles are an accompaniment with many meals, and they are normally spicy in flavor because of the addition of chili powder. In this recipe, I'm adding split fenugreek seeds, which is also known as methi ka kuriya, and that is why the name is methia keri. And the final flavor comes from heating the mustard oil and adding it to the pickle. So let's see how it's made. So let's start making the pickle. Remember, making pickle requires a lot of care and attention. So make sure you follow exactly what I'm doing. I've taken keri over here, which is raw mango, and I've cut them into cubes. Raw mango does not require any peeling, so I've kept it like that only. Now, first thing, we're going to add the salt. I've taken sea salt over here. What we are doing here is that we are going to add salt and turmeric to the keri. I'm going to keep it aside for one hour so that all the water releases from the keri. Mix it properly so that the haldi is coated all the cubes evenly. You can see it is mixed well. Now what we'll do is we'll cover it with a lid and keep it aside for one hour. It's been one hour now. We'll just remove the lid. And you can see there's a lot of water that has been released because of the salt. And now we'll remove the excess water. The best way is just take the raw mangoes and squeeze it with your hand like this. So all the excess water has been removed. Put it in this bowl. It's very important to remove out all the excess water because if even little water is there, the pickle will become soft very fast and it will not stay for a longer time. This is the last bit of the mangoes. We'll squeeze out all the water finally. And now you can discard this water. We'll proceed to the next step. Now we'll take another plate and I've put a muslin cloth on top of it and we'll just line the raw mango cubes on it to dry. The reason we are doing this, we want it to dry out completely and that will take approximately one hour. You can either keep this in the sunlight or you can keep it under fan. Just spread it on the muslin cloth like this, keeping some distance between each cube. And now this is ready. I've taken a small broad pan over here and we'll first heat the mustard oil. Normally in pickles, mustard oil is used because it gives a very nice flavor. And we have to heat this oil until it reaches smoking point. You can see small bubbles have started forming and it's giving a very nice aroma. You get a very strong mustard flavor from the oil. That is when it's done. And now we'll switch off the flame and allow it to cool. Now we'll take a bowl and I'll start making the sambar for the pickle. So first we'll take the methia kuria, which is the main ingredient. We'll take the raika kuria, which is also known as split mustard seeds. We'll add the sea salt. This is also called as khada ramak. If you want, you can add normal salt also, but generally in pickles, this salt is used. Some chilli powder. It depends on the spiciness of the pickle that you like. Some asafoetida. Haldi. I'm not adding much haldi, just a little bit. And now we'll just give this a mix. This has been mixed well. Our sambar is ready. Now over here, our keri has been dried. This is how it's looking. I've kept it in the sun for about one hour. And now we'll add it to the sambar. The keri has become very soft. And you can see it's even shrunk in size a little bit. That is how it's supposed to be. And now just mix it well so that all the masala has coated the keri properly. This has mixed well. And now, remember we had heated the oil. I'll just pour the oil over this mixture. Now just give it a mix again. It's because of the hot mustard oil which we have cooled down that is going to give the flavor to the pickle. You can see it's turning out so well. This has been mixed well and remember to keep it in an airtight container. 
Also, another important point is remember that the curry should not be even slightly wet. Otherwise, it will start releasing water in the pickle and it will get very mushy and it will not taste good. And it will get spoiled fast also. So, this pickle is ready and now you can put it in an airtight container or a jar and keep it at room temperature for 2 days and then keep it in the refrigerator. Download the Tarla Dalal app on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at tarladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.